What do you do when there's a bear? Do you run away from it or do you fight it? Well, me personally, I can tell you a personal story about wrestling a bear <laughs> at Maggie's Warehouse. But you should run. Run, okay. And the person next to you, you trip on your way gone. <laughs> so you make sure that he's the one who gets caught. Morning, Alex. Good morning. Well, it looks like this year might be the year of the Golden Eagle, which I would absolutely love. Yeah. So, we've been buying Golden Eagles here at Calls Brothers for 39 years now, going on this October. Got a lead from J.D. Pass, a.k.a. the Cowboy, from the vault in Jackson, Mississippi, which we bought two CJs from him last year. Yep. We bought that nice Wedgwood Blue CJ7 and a scrambler with a 360 with the serpentine drive and all that fanciness out of our heads. Mm -hmm. Anyways. This league started December of last year, a one owner from new, 79 Golden Eagle, and the lady's 90 years old. Uh-oh, lost a straw. <laughs> but she's 90 years old and her husband bought it for a new for her birthday. That's it's cool. an exceptional shape with exceptionally low miles and a rare color. So grab your cup of joe and let's go get a killer Golden Eagle. Look at that. So we're at the Tallahena Municipal Airport in Tallahena, Oklahoma, and there's JD Pass. And there's his airplane out there. How do you like this little place? You ready to go have some fun there, partner? That's pretty cool. Tallahena, Oklahoma, brother. How are you, cowboy? Just fine. How you doing? So for all of you out there, JD's actually from Oklahoma. He's not from Jackson, Mississippi. That's right. How are you, sir? Hey, how are you? Barry. Uh, Barry, Barry Dennis. Dennis. Now, he's from Mississippi. We can't help that. Uh-oh. There is Alex. Alex, right. how you Zach doing? Zach on the camera. <laughs> nice so how long is the this? runway here? Very short. Very short. Very short and very bumpy. And it's right in this bowl of mountains. And believe it or not, you got to nosedive like a yard dart to get in here. <laughs> But in case something bad happens, you got the ambulance to pick you up, right? Well, if yeah, you got to drive yourself, but it's here. <laughs> wow. Isn't this something? So where's the little box where you put your money in to, to land? Yeah, there's no landing fees in Tallahassee, you know, Oklahoma. Why not? Well, I just think they just got good Samaritans that live in this county that put new asphalt down on the runway because they want us to, to feel welcome. Well, I, I bet that. Because it's all new asphalt. I bet that plane in that little pop-up thing's safe. Well, as windy as it is today, you just got to point it in the right direction and it'll take off. Wow. So how are your new gauges working? Oh, they're awesome. Ask the pilot. He loves them. Do, do, you, have his new like do you have air conditioning now? Yes. It actually works? Yes. Last time we flew that thing, the AC didn't even work. Well, J.D. Air has <laughs> made a big improvement. That's all I can tell you. All right. So, so, so we're going to go visit. Away. A, it's 10 minutes away. A uh, 90-year-old woman bought this Jeep new. Outstanding. All it is is being pulled. Her husband was in the oil field business. They put it behind a motor home, pulled it back and forth a little bit. It's got 5,000 miles on it. Wow. And it's a golden eagle. Even better. And she had to go to the hospital last night. Oh, no. But her daughter's meeting us. And she's over there, and everything she's waiting on us as we get there now. And so Mama may be back by the time we get there because she was dying to be on coffee. Well, let's hope so. We brought her some coffee and some mugs. Now, if this is not the middle of nowhere, I say it often. Well, that's what I said on a little live post just a few minutes ago. It never ceases to amaze me where we go to do business. Beautiful. So, this JD's been working on this since December. But when you find something super nice like this, you got to work it for a while. And when it comes to fruition, you got to get in your airplane and or you your ram truck and go. Call, you, call your buddies and make it happen. All right, let's go to. Well, we're already in Tallahena. Let's go see the Jeep. We are in Tallahena. All right, well. Beautiful country. We'll see you when you get here. And there it is. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there she is. They just pulled her out of the barn. She's been in the barn for a good while. My buddy come across this while he's up here hunting for bear. Bear? Yeah, that's what's in these mountains around us. You sure? Yeah, he was up here bear hunting. And he at least is their place to hunt on. So since, you're, since you're an official cowboy, 
What do you do when there's a bear? Do you run away from it or do you fight it? Well, me personally, I can tell you a personal story about wrestling a bear <laughs> at Maggie's Warehouse. But you should run. Run, okay. And the person next to you, you trip on your way gone. <laughs> so you make sure that he's the one who gets caught. Ooh, look at that. So last inspection, 1987. Yeah, did you see that? I like that, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Correct hood latches, we like that, don't we, Alex? Yep. So a lot of people change. Just be original paint and decals. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is obviously it been in the barn or garage. There's no way it sat out here very Yeah, long. well, I said the pictures I uh, got from it had showed it in the barn. Now, it does have a custom, uh, what do you call it, sunroof in the top of it. Well, that was an option. Now, that may be an aftermarket, but it was an option. You could get that. So, gold tinted windows on the gold eagle hard tops, which is really cool. Look at the spare tire on it. Is it the original one? No. Nope. It's got Sold. the right drawbar on the back. It's got the right bumperettes. Sold new in Oklahoma. Sold new here. Well, it's I don't know. I think it may come from Nevada. Okay. Either way, it shouldn't be rusty at all. And it's not. Seats are beautiful. Uh -huh. 5,518 miles. Look at here. CV. Breaker, breaker, one nine. This is the Copenhagen kid. Where are you at, rubber duck? Seems like they had never been sat in. Cool. Look at here. Been sat in because we got 20 inch or 20 gauge seven and a half shot. That's been on some dubs. Doors are beautiful. Look at the keys are hidden under the floor mat. Sweet. It's either there. Above the sun visors or in the ashtray, usually. Meant to look see. Battery's dead. All right, let's, so far we've got Look AC, here. which is great. Tilt is great. Hard top. Let's see, we've got power steering, power brakes. What did I do with my keys? Power steering, power brakes. All the smog is there. Yep. Nothing's been messed with. All right, Alex, just test your All knowledge, right. and so far you've been doing outstanding. I'm going to give you a color code 9 in, as in Nancy. Was that black car here? I did know it. Think of a foreign country that starts with an M. Really foreign. Like it might be in Turkey. Here. Hmm. Why don't you ponder that for a minute? Yeah. I'm not so sure that Alex is out of the U.S. geography or something. So nope. Good. All right, it's Morocco buff. Right. This is the color of this. Yeah. Which Morocco is a, buff? Morocco buff, which is a tan. Ooh. So that's what I would have called it, tan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like your cowboy fact, hat. Yeah, it, it, well, it's my, you're colorblind if you think that's tan. That's gray. Okay. Well. <laughs> my, no, no, excuse me. Mine is patriot gray is what mine is if this is Morocco tan. Okay. So air injection rails are on it. Preheat tubes there. Just missing this one. Looks really, really honest. But AC. it looks like it's been sitting for a while, cowboy. AC. Oh, it's been sitting 5,000 miles from noon. So. AC power steering power brakes. Yep. We ain't driving this one home. Nope. <laughs> well, we don't have a battery to even get home. We gotta go to AutoZone and do that. Got a battery. Oh, you got one? Awesome. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is that. And you even get the tow hook. On these early ones, if you're lucky enough to find a build sheet, choose underneath the back seat, or I've actually seen them in the Golden Eagles and the Golden Hawks underneath the carpet on the rear of the wheelhouses. So, there's not a build sheet here. However, this thing is so original, and there's no doubt that everything's correct. I mean, the seats are just perfect. And again, we, you guys heard me talk about Levi's. In 1979, this is Levi's 10, but it was not Levi's anymore because they lost the registration rights or trademark rights for that. So these buttons don't say anything on them. This is a quadra track, which is a full-time four-wheel drive. And the option you had for those was just full-time four-wheel drive just high but this is a this one's got the high low range which is also an option which is really nice this lever down here in the floor of course golden eagles tacking clock beautiful 
These saddlebags are very rare. Really rare. Seat belts look really nice. What a find. You look at the seat bases, the CAD plating on some of the bolts, really nice. You can see the date code on that seat belt right there is late 1978, because this is a 79. Let's see what kind of paperwork we have. Got an eight track that's not factory, it's aftermarket. The CB radio that's aftermarket, probably day one stuff. And here's some of the original, original manuals. Look at this. The original delivery paper of 79 showing Tallahena, Oklahoma. And we are in Tallahena, Oklahoma. This is in the middle of nowhere. So not a whole lot of places for this to go in 5,500 miles. And like they said, this was delivered new here, JD. Yes, yeah, what I, th I couldn't remember if it was Nevada or here, but oh, wow. That's the registration. Tallahena. That's Tallahena, your, Oklahoma. That's your warranty book. Yes, on the... 17th day of April. Matter of fact, we're, that's almost, look here, we're rolling into April. What is today, the third? Yep. We're almost, look here, four kings of swing. Now, I never was a big swing band guy. So this thing's been here for 44 years in Tallahena. In the same barn. Oh, wow. We got. You know a little bit about that stuff, don't you, cowboy? Yes, sir. Firearms. Firearms. All right, owner's manual. Love it. God. Cobra. CB booklet. CW McCall got me my first CB. I really like this. So you can, this is an aftermarket eight track, which is obvious. Uh -huh. So this Jeep came from the factory. It's radio delete. And there's an there's original the plate. So if you wanted to put this exactly like it left the factory, you pull that out, put that right there. Very nice. So this Jeep's had very, very few modifications from day one. It looks like just the CB, the radio, and the tires. It looks like the only thing that's been done. Let's look through here and see if we can find a window sticker. Sam's where the tires came from. Registration. I don't know what that is. That's more CB stuff. More CB stuff. They want you to know how to use that. Oh, More that. CB stuff. <laughs> well, lots of regulations on that. Well, the agree. FCC, that was a big deal to have the whole world have a radio back then. Man, all right. So I like, love the owner's manual kit. That is fantastic. So we're doing pretty good so far on paper. So. We'll put this back. I'm digging through this and I haven't had permission yet. <laughs> Boom, that's cool. So far, I love it. Change the belt already? Yeah, it is. Original belt, though. Well, we've been best friends for 30 years. How are you, ma'am? It's nice to meet you. So he's one Dennis of the Collins. Dennis Collins and Miss Williams. Say hi to the camera. That's Zach. <laughs> yeah, and this is Zach. He's the man on the camera there. And this is Alex. This is Alex. He's a, kind of a resident expert. and. Look at him, he's done got his nose up in things, got a dirty spot on his nose. He's always working all the time. But, uh, man, we're excited about this. We really are. Well, I hope you are. Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything but pulled it. It's got very few road miles on it, I mean run miles. Mm -hmm. I, I towed it to Las Vegas and back, and I redid everything on it at that time, put new tires and all nine yards on it. And then um, I towed it back, and it's sat in that barn ever since till I pulled it out the other day because I rented my home. And I thought, I'm not leaving that Jeep out there. So I covered it up because I know the seals on those sunroofs don't last very long. They do leak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 10 years, so I covered it up. And when I got it here, and then I thought, you know, I kept telling mother, we need to get rid of that Jeep because we're not gonna drive it. Um, it doesn't need to sit outside. It needs to go somewhere. Yeah, now she's in uh, on her way back from the hospital. She had the mishap last night. And... Actually, she's there, and they've decided to let her go, and she's waiting on me. And um, so I'll go pick her up. I don't know how she conned them into this because she, I was really worried that she would know who I was when I went back. 
Really? Yeah. So I don't know how she conned them into this. But they called me a while ago, since you've been talking to me and said you were here, and they go, she's really impatient and you need to really get here. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's 90 years old and I talked to her the other day and she's just as spry as they come and I guarantee she's giving them fits. I yeah, know she that. Is. She's a handful. Yes, and uh, So she's so, so y'all are the, the one family owned Jeep and she's the original owner. Yes. That's incredible. Yeah, I, I, we actually saw the delivery paperwork and it actually said Tallahina. Yeah. yeah. It was my dad's dream and then he got sick. You know how that goes. You get to a point where you can afford it and it's too late mm -hmm. so um, and that's it was his dream so i never even felt right about getting in it truthfully to drive it or anything so it's just sit here we found the keys to the jeep they were on the format. format okay and i've got uh bill's salary written out mm -hmm. so i've got one for you as well and she I've, has one she i want to see those so. keys because i think i have another that's, set oh you do yeah because um that's the one I'm, I don't, I don't think I came out here and put them under the carpet. Yeah, these were under the carpet. So. Yeah, I got another set. I got okay. another set. It was, and I'm looking for them. I usually bring a priority mail envelope, but I don't think I did. So what I'll do is I'll get back to the office and I'll priority mail you a priority mail envelope. Okay. To send the title back. Okay. But I brought you uh, what you guys agreed on, brought the cash, mm -hmm. and I got uh, two bills of sale. Okay. So you'll have one and, I'll, and, and we'll have one. But yeah, this is just a fuel key. For the lock and gas cap on this, mm -hmm. and then this is the door key and the ignition key for this. So. Okay. So we're good to go on that. But if you have another set, that'd be great. Just drop it in there. But like I said, don't you know? Take care of your mama. No, let me, let me, I'll get her. I'll, I'll let me get the paperwork so she can go take care of her mom. Right. All right. I'll do that quick. So, Miss Williams, this is some of our coffee. Okay. So the name of our show where your Jeep is going to show up is called Coffee Walk. So if you want to watch it online, like I was telling you, oh, it'll okay. be on. But, in my opinion, it tastes fantastic and it smells great. Okay. So I got one for you and one for your mom. Oh, well, thank you. And I'll then I brought you some mugs. All right. I love that. And okay. if you like it, just let us know. We'll keep sending it to you. Okay. How's that? Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thanks for meeting us. No, thank you. Well, you're yeah. welcome. We love yeah. the Jeep. We're going to get it back and, and going to service it head to toe. Right, Alex? Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, wash, steam clean, dry if it needs it and just make it look exactly like it did when it left the factory. I forgot to tell you that. Well, you knew that it had air conditioning. Yes, yes ma'am. Right here because I sent you a photo. But anyway, mm -hmm. well, I look forward to y'all doing something with it and enjoying it, I hope. Well, we're going to. We're going to enjoy it. And uh, you, you, you kind of said it needs to go to somebody who appreciates it. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate them, but he knows I, every nut and bolt about I'm them. dedicated 30, and 30, 38, 38 years, years to I was going to say 30, 40 years just to that Jeep. So everything about that Jeep gets us excited, and so we're very tickled to have the opportunity to. And Thank you. we appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate you. Thank you, ma'am. It's a pleasure nice meet to you. meet you both. All right, we'll get nice it loaded up. And you. last question. Okay. What is the best local food or your favorite restaurant, like within a reasonable driving distance? He's a foodie. The best local restaurant in this town? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I closed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, what is the closest restaurant well, that's good that's think. open? <laughs> there's two places here. There's the Hateful Hussy and there's Bell's Restaurant. Bell's Restaurant is really more real home cook, good, and the Hateful Hussy is more of a, um, you know, you'd Hateful Hussy. I kind of like the Hateful Hussy. <laughs> Yeah, you will like that. That's, that's where that, feel all the home. bikers go there. People come here just to go to the Hateful well, Hussy. We're well, doing that. That, that, sounds like that sounds fun. All right. And yes. our, the owner's name is Pam Lewis, and her daughter works there. And her name, and she lives right over here, is Amber. Amber Lewis. Amber. Lewis. Well, let's go to the Hateful Hussy. I'll just get this thing loaded. I'm hungry. Would you consider selling all three of them? Yeah, I'd so. sell. What would you take for them? You just offer me a price. I know what I paid for one of them. I drove to the cows and got it and paid sixty something dollars for it. But I generally end up paying too much for stuff like this. Yeah, I do too. That's, I why, do. I, that's why I got a hundred and fifty thousand square foot warehouse <laughs> yeah. full of it. And the thing is, next last time you did this, I let you buy it. And then I flipped you in a parking lot and got it for a whole lot less. So I'll let you step in here and do this. Flip it. Call it. Flip it. I call it there. Tails. Tails, brother. You got your oh. free mini box. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I keep saying. I'm gonna keep the quarter. You're gonna too. keep the quarter too. I'm gonna keep the quarter too. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Two guys you never. Oh, there's three guys in the world you don't want to ever flip a coin with. 
Richard Rawlings, JD Pass, and Gary Seal. Yep. They win every time. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, can I buy these three for? Sure. Okay. Cool. I bought three tricycles. Now you want to flip it over now? Man, I want to keep these. Because <laughs> I'll lose. I might as well just give them to you. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to become the world's largest tricycle collector. Or JD's the world's largest mini bike collector. And who knows, he did the right thing. Because mini bikes sure bring a lot of money these days. What do you think, Alex? I like them. <laughs> this goes with the lion, right? Yeah. Out of Victoria. Kevin's gonna love these. <laughs> you can hang up the ceiling. There we go. This truck's set up for hauling tricycles. Who, who yes, sir. Three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I think we stick that one over there. That's awesome. Now, oh. now you'll take and get a over width. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Right, we'll Does right. that need to move out? Yeah. 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 Just turn around. I don't know why I do this. Back here. He does that on purpose. Yeah, he does that on purpose. I know he does. Alright, Cowboy, I got one on you. I know you got your fancy hat on. It's like oh one gazillion twills or something like yeah. that. Look inside that. Oh my goodness. Just feel that. That's real Corinthian rabbit. Or something like that. I don't know. Put that on there. Corinthian your rabbit. You look good. Look at that. Look at got your that. high dollar watch. Look at that. Got your uh, Mackenzie Childs boots on. You like that? But I didn't even know Mackenzie on. Childs made boots. They <laughs> got to be an expensive pair of bougie boots. They are bougie boots. They got pistols on the bottom of them. Do they really? <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Get it, cowboy. Do something. One of each one and two cap fries. And I, I, I'm uh, probably not eating anything. Well, them you gotta get chicken fried steak. Way. I had a heart attack. You're gonna get me in trouble. But the last scan you showed me looked really good. I know. Wasn't it great? We're there. gonna go back on our scans. That your heart's insane? pumping just fine. All right, you ready? I am ready. Put your hand. I was born ready. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And do what? Just like a man, you get him in the sack and he don't know what to do. That's me. That's exactly right. That's why I've been married 33 years. I found one that liked me. you have never heard that before. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my God, here's my cat fry. Oh my God. Oh, you're such an angel. Say anything like, don't fan the fly. Can I have some ketchup? All right, JD, tell us what a cat fry is. It is a mountain oyster, proverbially known as a what? steer nut or a bull nut or whatever you want to call it, but it's a delicacy all to its own. Why are they so small? Oh my God. Because it's a small, it's a little small. I got the only ones that are big. They're small That's cats. why they're so small. <laughs> small cat, bulls, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Here's a, order of cat fries. So what yeah. are you guys doing Thank here? You. Another one. Mushrooms, you know, Miss Williams? Breaded mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I've tried this before, but maybe. So this is a. Uh, this is a bull nut. It's a bull nut. What do they call it on the menu? Calf fries. Calf fries. Look here. Mm. That's heaven. Does it give you power? Yes, it does. Makes you wrap a berry. Put it right here in the mountain. You just having some calf right. fries? Or you no, no, I'm going to have that chicken fried steak. I'm in Oklahoma. <laughs> Born and raised, that's what I'm going to eat. What'd you get there, cowboy? What do you think I got? I don't know. You gonna have some steak with your gravy? I'm gonna have chicken fried steak, hand battered, 
pounded out with love by a lady that's got a sign that says she's the angry Pam. No, it's not angry Pam. It's uh, ha ha it's the hateful hussy. And angry Pam is not so angry. I'm just going to tell you, Pam was really sweet. The service is here, so it is a misnomer. Go ahead and stop by here. It's an amazing place. Chicken fried steak as big as my hat. I'm going to be full and calf fries. Tell us one more, tell us one more time what a calf fry is. Bull nuts. Okay. And you ate like 30 of them. I'll eat all of them. I would throw this away and eat another 40 pounds of them if they were here. We can, bring, we can bring some more. The Hateful Hussy, Tallahena, Oklahoma. By deals. The Good Friends, Fellowship. We're not arrested yet. <laughs> yeah, you got sure that understanding. Yeah, we don't know what he we did. He pulled over. He's making sure we didn't steal yeah, those tricycles. Exactly right. <laughs> That's what three people tricycles. People that come to these small towns lately stealing tricycles. So you guys better lock them up, and chain them up. Yeah, because they're going to fix them. There's three boys right over there thinking about going and getting them right now. You better. And they got them. fried everything in here. It's everything all good. Fried. And I, if you have a heart attack, don't come to Tallahassee, Oklahoma, because <laughs> I had one about two months ago. And I'm fixing to have another when I get home. Just make sure I got my nitroglycerin pills buried when we get on the plane. We got some nitrous oxide for you. Do we? Yeah. I can take some nitrous oxide. And guess what? What? You got dessert after this. I hope it's a key lime pie. No. Do you know what would be better than key lime pie? Catfish. No. Banana pudding. I bet you they got some I of that. I bet they got some banana pudding. Probably in a mason here. jar. If it's in a mason jar, then it's kind of making me think we're back in Mississippi because we got a steel or two over in Mississippi still. You know what that is? Yes, sir. I do. I know oh, what the steel is. Look at here. Uh, wow. That's the best bite right there. You win, JD. Mm -hmm, I do. What do you eat? It's great to see you today. It was good to see you too. I'm cat, so glad cat, we got to do it. Catfish? Last time I seen you was at a mobile home convention. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> in Mississippi. Yeah. Of all places. So, actually, we're back to doing what we do. All right. Let's finish lunch and have dessert. Um, that is strawberry layer, okay. chocolate, coconut. This chocolate cake is so much better warmed up. Oh, that looks would so like good. Me to that was a good left warm it up. And cheesecake, lemon, the chocolate layer, oh. apple, and pecan. Can you oh. do that all in mode after you warm it up? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You ready, Alex? This is right on your diet. Yeah, yeah, nope. <laughs> Also, you guys, look, look at this guy. Kill it. He looks fantastic. Yeah. This, and, I don't know if this is going to help. i got to do the strawberry first. Just FYI, That's got to be best. I'm part. diabetic, too. Look at that. We're going to put so, JD in a coma. Yeah. I have a heart attack and diabetes. <laughs> I'm supporting those folks today. Ah, cheers. Here. Oh, Take the plate. Here. Oh, that is strawberry and delicious. It's great. Oh, I like that. Look at him. So do we have to swap forks every time we take a bite? No, it ain't like double dipping chips. You heard that straight from the cowboy. It ain't like double dipping chips. All right, coconut. What is this? Wow, that is super strawberry-ish. Mm. Coconut's great. Mmm, that's real good. Heading for the chocolate meringue. Nothing like hometown pies. Wow. Chocolate cake is best so far. Or chocolate pie is best so far. I actually like them all so far. I'm sitting down. Thank you. Oh, look at here. Cheesecake is so rich. Here, try that. Before it gets cold. Look at that. Well, how, about you, how about you take over the key lime pie and I'll take over the chocolate cake? I'm taking over the lemon. You have the chocolate cake. Look at that. Warmed up with all the mode. Isn't that awesome? Good thing I'm not driving on the way back. Hmm. I need something to drink. I need water. Here. Wow. Super chocolatey. Wow. I'm trying everything except for the pecan. Some of those pecans. Why oh, you're allergic? Oh, look at that. Honestly, they're all good, but I think, okay. I think this is the winner right here. Uh, well, hey, that's pretty Four good. Four flavors of chocolate. That's outstanding. Sorry, man. Have you ever been here? 
First time we've been here. No, I was raised in Ardwell, Oklahoma. Oh. I'm sorry, Rodeo's around the Wow. Mississippi. You're gonna try any of it, Alex? Uh, no. That's some serious. Stick willpower. it to my diet. All right, Zach, you're out. Turn, turn. That was really, really oh good. Oh my God, that was outstanding, bro. Pam's hateful hussy. Yeah. So the only place in Tallahena to eat. The fried stuff was all good. Calf rice was amazing. I haven't had them in a while. And they were not those big old giant ones. They were bite-sized morsels that were just tremendous. Chicken fried steak's great. But oh. I would recommend if it's your birthday, come down and get every single dessert and a coffee. Incredible. Look at that. She's got a valet. Either that or Barry's got to get in that way too. I do. That's <laughs> yeah, that's why yeah, he's got over to that for you. Good. Uh, good to see you, sir. All right. Safe travels. Right. I want to see a super hot takeoff like this. You're going to see it. Let me tell you something. Good to see you again, good brother. You. Great day to be I alive. Love this man. Love you too, love cowboy. You too, that was a was good a day. day. That was a good day in Tallahassee, Oklahoma. Absolutely. All right. All right, let her rip. School this thing up. We'll see you. I want to hear all it's got. You'll get to see all of it's got because that's the only way we roll. You need some help? Nope. I got it right here. <laughs> now, does that look like it'd go 350 miles an hour? I don't. At least it says it will. Well, a tailwind like this, maybe. Yeah. Well, Zach and I have actually flown on that. Was it fun, Zach? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you got nervous a couple times. How long does it take to start a twin engine Piper? I think I'm going to try the other engine. So they said this runway is 3,300 feet. I don't know a whole lot about airplanes, but sounds kind of short to me. It's windy out here. Yeah. Let's go get the ram and go 62 miles an hour back to Wiley. We've got a great update for you today. I can't remember the last time that we had two very nice original paint V8 Golden Eagles with an automatic. This is a 1978. It was sold new in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And then it was traded into Jasper Jeep in Marietta, Georgia in 1982 with 18,000 miles on it. And the owner we just got it from was in Roswell, Georgia. He drove it from 18,000 miles to 74,000 miles and parked it in 2011. Obviously, it's always been garage kept. So the Jeep that you just saw, 5,500 miles is a 79, so it did not say Levi's on the seats. And you can look in the interior. It's gonna be the same interior, but the buttons will say Levi's on them. This is also a soft top Jeep, a very nice original soft top. You can tell the factory Jeep soft top when you walk around. You see the Jeep special equipment on it. But you've also got date codes in the windows. This is 78 and all the date codes in these windows are late 77. Incredible to see that. Original wheels, original paint. And let's see what other options it's got. It is a 7B Mocha Brown Metallic. Now, in 1978, there were 14 different colors. Most colors were between seven and 10%. I believe this was a very popular color that year, so let's just say it was 20%. It was also a big year production for CJ's. So you can see in here, we've done a full detail and a full service, beautiful engine bay now. Power steering, power brakes. So out of the 38,000 CJ7s built in 1978, approximately 20% of those were Golden Eagle. Very popular, that's about 7,500. 20% were automatics. That drops you down to about 1,500. Now let's just say this is a 10% color. That'd be 150 Jeeps, but I'm, I think it's a 20% color. So this looks around 300 Jeeps built like this. 
And now this has got power steering, power brakes, very, very low production. And how many exist with original paint and incredibly solid like this? So there you have it. There's our quick update. This is one you didn't get to see that we rescued out of Roswell, Georgia, out of a garage, but we didn't get to film it. Hope you guys enjoyed as much today as I did. Two killer V8 automatic Golden Eagles. Please like, tag, share, and follow. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're almost at 500,000. See you next week.